Ahoy! I'm a furry who loves stories, comics and art that has cute animal people in them. So today we are going to be taking a closer look at House Pets, a furry webcomic written by Rick Griffin. In House Pets we follow the pets living in Babylon Garden and the various adventures that they manage to get themselves into. We got Bino who is just the verse, we got Bailey who is a sweet and kind country doggo, we got King a very pessimistic and stressed doggo, we have a dog who roleplay as a cat sometimes, we have Peanut whose personality is best described as, well, you know, a dog, he's a dog, that's... That's pretty much his personality. Grape, a cat who likes to hang out with dogs. Fox, who despite his name is a dog. Carrie Shad, who is an actual fox. Six multi-billionaire ferrets. And of course, a psychic doggo. Oh, spirits in the cloud. Oh, ghosts in the machine. Show us where the adapter is. I seem to have misplaced it. There are many more characters, but these were some of them. As you might have noticed, these are not normal pets. They are pets put in a universe where they can walk on two feet and talk. Some of them are very intelligent, while some of them are, well... Less so. Don't you see? He's trying to win you over by playing up the humility angle. Don't buy it. It's just another trick of his. Oh yes, he's planned this from the start. You'll see, you'll all see. You all think I'm crazy. Well, I'm not crazy. I'm the only sane one here. The comic started out in 2008 and it's still going strong to this day. It begins by introducing the world and its characters, but after Grape gets a very strange dream with a feather in it, it doesn't take too long before we have the beginning of an interesting story going on. The early stuff made in 2008 and so on is maybe not the best, but it's still pretty fun to read it if you manage to get past the slightly horrifying big pause and the incredibly similar character design. As the years go by, the art gets better, the story gets better, everything just gets better. There's a lot of fun story to get into, and I highly recommend checking it out if you want to read some life of life romantic comedy type of thing with some other stuff. Yep. So there might be many questions that you are still wondering about. Is the comic gay? Yes, it's very gay. However, to begin with, it's leaning more straight. So maybe it's bi? You should probably ask it. It's never good to assume. Hey, house pets! What? Are you gay? I'm a comic. I don't have a sexual preference. Oh. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. How often does it upload? The comic updates every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, which is awesome. Rick actually manages to have a consistent uploading schedule, you know, unlike some of us. How fast can you read this comic? Two days, probably faster if you're not me. Can I feed it to my dogs? No. Why would you even ask that? You weirdo. But in conclusion, the story arcs and house pets combined with the humor and its amazing ways of explaining things makes this comic incredibly enjoyable to me. So I give it a 10 out of 10. Wait, don't you give everything 10 out of 10? Shh, it's 10 out of 10. I would also like to give it 3 out of 10 two kinds. What? What does that mean? Oh, oh okay, I probably need to explain that. Mr. All-Knowing Narrator, please assist me. <clears throat> Two Kinds is basically a comic which pushes the limits of what is and isn't porn. It's technically safe for work, but uh, you'd probably get a lot of questionable looks if you were to read that thing with people around you. So one unit of Two Kind pretty much says something about the amount of skeptical people looking in your direction while you're reading it. This means the more Two Kind something has, the more not safe for work, while still technically being safe for work, it is to read. In House Pets, there are certainly some elements which can be interpreted as very ooh woo. However, it's for the most part done as an actual joke. These jokes combined with some other stuff is the reasoning behind giving it 3 out of 10 two kinds. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. No problem, Foofy. Don't be afraid to call upon me again. So, Hospits, there you have it. I would like to give a huge thanks to Luxus Stargrave for drawing my character, and I'd also like to thank Chip Flake and Alexander James Kinnor Sunan for doing some additional voice acting. Hello, Hamburger, I'm a dog. Okay. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, feel free to nuke that like button. Also remember to subscribe and hit that bell. That was all folks, bye bye! And now I'm gonna do some sleep or something, I don't know.